Are women here wearing shorter skirts? Some blame it on Singapore's hot weather. Others call it a fashion trend. But some analysts have linked the length of women's skirts to the economy. The Hemline Index is a theory presented by American economist George Taylor in 1926. He said that as stock prices go up, so too do women's skirt hemlines. This is because in good times, consumer confidence and general excitement are high. That's why knee-length leopard dresses were the rage in the prosperous, roaring 1920s and miniskirts were a must-have in the 1960s. In bad times, long skirts are worn as a reflection of the general gloom. But does this skirt length theory hold true in Singapore? For me, I don't particularly think it's because of pro-economy. I think it's more of like fashion trends and what they see on the fashion magazines and they want to follow it. I think it's the trend, like it's in the fashion kind of thing. Like recently, people are into like tight, short skirts kind of thing. It has more to do with the fashion as compared to the economy. Wearing shorter skirts maybe is more to do with your personal, like, like if you're comfortable with your own body. It's not really to do with the economy, I feel. In 2001, Leonard Lauder, chairman of the board of SD Lauder, came up with another correlation between the economy and fashion. The Lipstick Index. Lauder said that the higher lipstick sales are, the worse off the economy is, and pointed to an increase in lipstick sales during the early 2000s recession as an example. This is because lipsticks and cosmetics in general cost less than dresses and provide a cheaper alternative for fulfilling women's shopping needs in gloomy times. I guess it's true because lipsticks are not really that expensive compared to clothes, as you can see, because clothes can range up to $100, $200, $300. $300. Lipsticks, they go less than $30. Like, you can afford probably three lipsticks, four lipsticks. Oh, why buy more when the economy is bad? Fewer the need to shop? <laughs> Maybe keep it and stock it up. Lipstick can uh, make somebody, can change somebody's look, so... Uh, instead of buying a beautiful dress, probably they can, you know, change their something on their face. Yeah. <laughs> I can agree with them, like, if let's say they don't have money to like buy dresses or what, and lipsticks can be um, a way for them to um, be a little bit more different than the other girls. So while most Singaporeans Razor TV spoke to agree with the lipstick index, the skirt length theory seems to come up short. But if it holds any water at all, I'm sure many of us would want the economy to keep on booming.